Hey, uh, today I'll be showing you how to make this pop tab necklace. So it's a simple way to make a really pretty necklace out of pop tabs. You don't have to use the coloured ones, obviously. You can do whatever colours you want. This one's kind of patriotic with the red, white, and blue. So to start off, we are going to need some yarn. I'm just using the cross stitch kind of thread and a crochet hook and some pop tabs. So any thin yarn would do. But I like to use this because what I have a lot of. So to start off we are going to do a slip knot in the end of the thread and we're going to pop the crochet hook through that to attach it to the crochet hook. If you know how to crochet this is going to be super simple for you, if you don't then it's still fairly simple because I don't crochet, I literally just crochet to crochet pop tabs together. <laughs> if you've seen any of my other pop tab videos I'm literally doing the same stitch. We just pop the crochet hook through the hole of the pop tab, grab the yarn, pull it through, grab the yarn again and pull it through both those hoops. You want to do this, uh, depending on how thick your yarn is, uh, three or four times just so that end bit's covered. And once you've done that, you want to do two stitches along this top end of the pop tab. So you just do two along there. And next you want to grab another pop tab, place that on top, and now we're going to go through uh, the hole on both of the pop tabs at the same time. So you're just going to go straight through here, grab the yarn or thread, pull it through, grab the yarn again and pull it through both of the holes. So we're going to do this twice again. So each time you're going to do two stitches. You slide that over slightly, grab another pop tab and we're going to repeat this step. So each time you're going through the top two pop tabs. So you're only going through two tabs at a time and you're doing two stitches. And this is what you basically have to do for the necklace. So you just do it as long as you want. Obviously depending on how low you want the necklace to sit. I like to have my necklace quite high up to my neck. So I used uh, 50 pop tabs for mine. Obviously if you want it lower down, use more. So this is what it looks like. And when you get to the end, you just do some more stitches to fill up that side of the pop tab so the thread goes all the way around the side of that hole. Once you've done that just um, grab the yarn for the last time and pull it through chop off the any excess you don't need and pull the thread through that little knot. Then you're gonna thread the, th the thread <laughs> or the yarn through a needle and we're just gonna hide this end tail bit. So you just get the needle, poke it through through the stitches and cut off any excess and do the same for the other end as well. And this is your basic um, necklace done. And then we just have to add a clasp. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a lot of lobster clasp <laughs> and an extra bit of chain. I usually like to use anywhere between one inch and two inches of chain. So just gonna get a jump ring, attach the clasp to one corner of the necklace. Now I like to put it through the thread, like through the stitches of it, because it holds nicely. But you can actually uh, put the jump ring through that hole of the pop tab. It will be a bit more sturdy, but it doesn't sit quite as nice. So just close that jump ring up 
and do the same with the other side with the extra length of chain. And that's it, that's your necklace completely done. So I love to see which ones you make, what pop tabs you use, because this is a great project as well to use the pop tabs that only have the one hole or the red ball ones where you can't actually crochet through the top hole because obviously it's a shape of ball. So have fun making your own. Thanks for watching. Bye.